Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and this is day two. Today's class is about the hero's journey. You are the hero and you are being called on a journey, on your next calling, on your purpose. And when we are able to quiet down and listen, listen to the call of our intuition, we're able to hear what our next journey will be into our inevitable expansion of awareness and change is inevitable transformation is inevitable expansion is inevitable we are always expanding our awareness and consciousness is always expanding so today you are the hero and you are being called on a journey so are you ready to flow with strength and ease This class and in all the rest of classes flow with the calling with the cues of your own body do as much as you can rest as much as you need to listen to your body quiet down be calm listen to your breath with each class you will learn a lot more about yourself than you knew before that class let's roll the shoulders back and down lifting to the heart Deepening the breath and creating a quiet space. Close your eyes for a moment and focus on your breath. Finding that emptiness within, that quiet space within, where genius resides, in the nothingness. Genius hides. The genius part of us is hidden the genius part of our awareness. Nice deep inhalations followed by complete exhalations. Focusing on the breath, withdrawing from the external, turning the gaze inward, observing inwardly. And even using the external witness, stepping outside of yourself and just looking at yourself from outside, finding that quietness. Where the sound of your breath is all that matters. And you will constrict slightly the back of your throat in order to produce that Ujjayi breath, the sound of the ocean reminding us of the sound of water. Allowing you to deepen your breath, to lengthen the time of exhalation and inhalation. And let's inhale the hands over the heart, inhaling through the heart center, finding again your center, feeling that quiet space within, because our intuition resides there. And when we're quiet enough, we can hear the voice of our intuition, our calling, our purpose. And that voice doesn't have to be a cognitive thing. It can be an image, a feeling, a sensation, a knowing, a knowingness. It doesn't have to be exact or particular. A few more deep inhalations followed by complete exhalations dropping in within your body ironically when we step out we also drop in
and realizing that we're at the perfect place, at the perfect time. Regardless of the mistakes we have made along our path, regardless of the ways we have wished or wanted things to be and regardless of how things are, realizing that this is exactly perfection. This is how it was supposed to be for us to be able to step into our new awareness. Everything along our path has allowed us to deepen our self-knowing and it has allowed us to spring forward into our next stage of consciousness. And let's take a nice deep inhalation. And as you exhale, you can open your eyes. Experiencing the present moment fully and tangibly. And let's bend the knees and sit back. We're going to lift the hands over the head. And look down, lift your toes off the floor, which will activate your, activate your arches. And you're going to press into all four corners of each toe. And sit back, pull the belly in, extend the tailbone down. Soften the gaze, soften the face muscles. Relaxing the face, relaxing the jaw. Finding effortlessness, even in the strong poses. And we're going to fold forward, bringing the chest over the thighs, wrapping the wrists around the elbows and letting the head he hang heavy. Great, let's bring the hands on the floor and step back into all fours. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips so that we're developing body awareness and we understand where our body is in space when you just feel those things. Without anyone having to tell you exactly where that is, you will feel stacking the joints, which is good for injury prevention and for building strength, for rebalancing the body. Great. From here, we're going to inhale and lengthen the back of the neck. So we're not pressing the neck and head back, but we're lengthening the back of the neck, looking up, arching, softening the chest. Exhale, rounding the back and looking towards the navel. Inhale, open the chest. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale. Rounding. Inhale, open, look up. Exhale to neutral. And we're going to take a nice strong plank. Plank is all about that core. Our values, core values. So tapping into things on many levels, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. Pull the belly in as hard as you can, press the heels away from you. If you have to rest, Place your knees on the ground and still take a plank, flat back, or you can rest in child's pose and come back to it. But let's hold plank and let's step a little bit out of our comfort zone here. Let's step forward. So here you're gonna take the tailbone just slightly spread the fingers wide open and press into your thumb 
and index finger because we tend to roll on the outside of the hands you want to balance it out by pressing into the inner fingers draw an imaginary line from your third eye all the way between the feet and as the central axis of the body that divides the body in equal parts left right front back and pull your corset of muscles your tva transverse abdominis the, the core muscles the deep core muscles pull them in towards the middle towards the belly button great good job everyone very good sit back in child's pose in allowing yourself to accept where you're at regardless of if you have judgment about your own practice if, if it's strong or not good enough accepting it being good with it it was good whatever you did in plank was perfect it was enough tap yourself on the shoulder great inhale the hands over the head and we're gonna come back up tuck your toes under downward facing dog lifting the tailbone as high as you can and spinning the inner elbows towards each other which places the shoulders away from the ears and instead of staying somewhere here which creates tension in the shoulders and defeats the purpose of this pose we're gonna relax the shoulders place them away from the ears and that way we can actually enjoy downward facing dog it becomes enjoyable it becomes easy it becomes a place of rest and give it time if it's not easy now with proper alignment and deep breath you will get there just keep coming back to your mat to the 30 day classes and let's take the right leg up inhale exhale bring the foot between the hands Press the back heel away from you and come up high lunge. It's a powerful pose. Nice, deep breath. Really focus on your breath. Make it the central part, the focal point of your practice. Always observing your breath, deepening it finding if there is obstruction somewhere if your breath flows easily or if there is stuckness and just breathing through that with ease and acceptance all right hands palms of the hands together pressing together over the third eye and release down straight back hands on the floor plank knees on the ground and we're gonna do chaturanga so elbows will remain over the wrists and shoulders forward pull the belly in strong 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 great drop onto your belly cobra let's do a second chaturanga and now press back down dog Adho Mukha Svanasana, a beautiful pose, internal pose, we're internalizing here, we're folding onto ourselves, looking in, it's introversion, perfect for winter and perfect for times when we want to intuit to feel let's take the left leg up step it through pull the belly in straight back come up high lunge breathe and feel the strength of your 
legs here you are working with a very powerful pose so feel it enjoy it look down make sure that the left knee is over or behind the ankle and also see if your knee is pointing directly forward or if it's coming in then correct it a little bit and place it above the ankle or on the, or on the same line along the same line great let's bring the hands over the third eye straight back lower down plank yay i want you to regardless of how you feel about plank every time i do plank i want you to say yeah <laughs> because that will give you the illusion that you love it and then it will turn into actual love i read somewhere that the best way to deal with waking up early is when your alarm goes off at like five in the morning to go yeah and that helps you wake up really um, refreshed so it's the same thing go yay with the challenging poses and don't worry if you look silly to the people around you if there's people in your room that will just lighten up the mood <laughs> all right lower down onto your belly inhale cobra and exhale downward facing dog inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge come up straight back powerful pose hands pressing together over the heart because yoga is the prayer of the body we're moving and the body is the prayer the body is the tool that we use to intuit to feel to tune in From here, I'm gonna give you something balancing. So do your best. If you are not super graceful, that's fine. That's part of the fun. We're going to reach forward and come into warrior three. So I'll demonstrate it again. We're just gonna balance on one leg, on the right leg. We're gonna take one step, but if you have to take more, take more and shift to warrior three. Once you're here, you're gonna level the hips. So the hips are equal distance from the floor. Flex your left foot and press that heel away from you. Pull the belly in. This is a core pose. It is meant to challenge you. It's not an easy pose, but it's a rewarding, amazing, and a beautiful pose. Very good. Bend the right knee and come up to standing. How's your balance? Let me know in the comments below. How did you feel your balance? Was it difficult or was it easy? All right, three pose. Press your left foot into your inner thigh or into your calf. Or you can even touch your toes to the floor if you must. So whichever stage you wanna choose, it's all good. Press your left knee back and press your leg or calf, inner thigh or calf into your foot and the foot back into the calf, which helps you to find balance and find a gazing point in front of you. When you sink into that place that you're gazing at, you kind of sink with something that's steady, you find steadiness within. So pay attention to your drishti. Drishti is the gazing point. It's something on the floor, maybe a little lint or dog hair. <laughs> I love balancing poses because they bring you right into the present moment. If you're spaced out, bam, balancing pose and you're right here, right now. And if this is very easy for you, then feel free to close your eyes and see how this will shift your world. and open the eyes some days are easy and some days are hard it just gives you a feedback of how you physically feel are you rested are you calm great let's step straight back into high lunge great and reach over the head 
the hands are gonna clasp and reach over to the right so that we're stretching the entire left side of the body great exhale with a straight back down step it back plank and what's the word for plank yay <laughs> All right, from here, Chaturanga, I'm going to do the um, advanced Chaturanga, but you can place your knees on the ground and keep doing that up until you build enough strength. But I'll just show you how it looks in the future for the beginners. If you're not a beginner, then you're gonna do it with me. Lower down, strong core, pull the belly in, and let's open in Cobra or upward facing dog. In up dog, knees are off the floor, pressing the toes down. Soften the chest, open it, expand. And I'm gonna give you a second chaturanga just for fun. That's another yay. It takes a while, but you get there. You can skip it now, but just have the mental image of building that core strength. You will build it. With my classes, you will build your core, I promise you. Let's take the left leg up, step it through, bring it through however you get here and straight back, pull the belly in, come up, high lunge. Let's press the palms of the hands together, bring them over the heart, find your drishti point and know that you're going into warrior three, standing on the left leg. So from here, you're going to shift and Come on to the left leg standing, level the hips, flex the foot, press the heel away from you and breathe. And slowly coming up from here, we're going to find three pose, whichever stage of three pose suits your body. Customize the practice to your own body, listen to your body you are your best mentor. Three bows and quiet. Down here, stay here for a moment. Drishti. The eyes are gazing at the gazing point. And we're bringing the breath into the lower belly where oftentimes our intuition resides. We're awakening, awakening the belly. We're lighting up that fire. Shall we close the eyes? <laughs> Do it if you feel that today is, is a balanced day for you. And you can have a wall nearby if you're not certain. And be prepared that you might have to step out of it. So know your surroundings. Closing the eyes and just smiling at how difficult this can be. open the eyes and we're gonna step back in high lunge clasping the hands reaching over to the left so we're reaching towards the same leg that is extended in front of us stretching the right side you can look up come back to center keep a straight back and lower down plank yay Pull the belly in as hard as you can. Knees on the ground, Chaturanga. Lower down onto your belly. Lick, Cobra. Lengthening the lower back here. Open, breathe. And coming out onto all fours. We're going to take the right hand and bring it under the left shoulder, right shoulder, the back of the shoulder down on the ground, twisting here. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, coming up. Opposite side, softening into the floor, letting gravity do the work for you here. You're relaxing, softening, breathing, letting go. Letting go of tension, softening the shoulders, letting go of armor. Inhale, coming up, and we're going to cross the legs and bring them in front of us, or you can find a different way to bring the legs in front of us. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together, hands on the feet, and allow the knees to drop out to the sides. Roll the shoulders back and down, pull the belly in, Still engaging that corset of muscles. Which allows us to have better posture, prevents us from back pain, hip pain. It's a really, really beautiful physical quality to build. And it doesn't have to be a six pack or anything like that. It's just an inner strength of the core muscles, the deep core muscles. That will help us also flatten the belly and improve digestion, both of which are very, very good for health. When we're not bothered by our digestion, we tend to have deeper thoughts. <laughs> All right, great. From here, you are going to walk your legs in front of you and come on top. Again, feet and hands in a pose called tabletop. Lifting here and really lifting. Use your glutes, use your uh, hamstrings, the back of the legs and the booty to lift here. lower down and using those core muscles that we've been activating lower down one vertebra at a time laying down onto your back press your elbows down chest open feet parallel to each other hip weight apart and lift your hips here in bridge pose so working the chest in towards the chin and slowly releasing down. From here, we're going to extend the left leg, keep it just above the floor or as far up as you need to so that your lower back is on the ground. You need to keep your lower back on the floor the entire time. You can spread your toes, that's just for uh, shooting the energy into the foot. There is intention in the pose, pull the belly in, draw the navel in and reach here, reaching forward. This really allows you to connect with that core strength. And release the foot down, opposite side. Really reach. Pull the belly in, pull, pull, pull. Change. Draw the navel in. Make sure you're belly is not popping up and out but flattening and drawing in and change keep the lower back on the floor
and release give yourself a hug rocking extend the left leg down right knee across twist here in a supine twist coming out opposite side coming out and let's bring the hands underneath the knees and rock a few times back and forth massaging the spine enjoying the rocking and coming up to a comfortable cross-legged seated pose we're going to bring the left arm out directly out so that you can spin your elbow in relaxing the shoulder reaching over and opposite side really glide it out walk your elbow spin your elbow in opposite side and see what happens here does your sitting bone come off the floor just observe your body and how you respond to the pose eventually you can gently keep both sitting bones down without forcing the pose but keeping them down so that you can get a really deep stretch through the obliques the same part this, the same muscles that we've been building and awakening core and coming out of this let's bring the hands on the knees and round the back look down towards your navel inhale arch look up look down and arch look down arch let's bring one hand over just without touching just over the belly one over the heart and stay here feel the tingling energy in the palms of the hands feel that tingle that energy and also feel the energy that's circulating between the two hands breathing into your heart and exhaling through the belly visually without needing a definitive answer or anything definitive just tuning in listening uh, to the sound of your breath and tuning in into the quietness within because we're always being called on a journey we're always just about to step into the next level of our awareness we're always about to expand we're always on the verge of expansion and intuiting being in tune listening allows us to do that with more direction less suffering I would love to know how the second day was for you so leave a comment below let me know how this second class was for you how did you feel during class and i'll see you tomorrow for day three remember to flow with strength and ease